Welcome back to the show. What a great segue talking to just a fabulous local artist. Uh, big thanks to Dr. Karen Dover for joining us again. And we'll, we'll have her back because I had so much fun painting with her. Um, and she's going to auction off that painting that we just began together at the at the exhibition. So make sure you, you get in touch. Uh, again, that kicks off January 20th. And I say it's a great segue because we're going to be talking a, about a great opportunity for Canadian artists. I'm joined again by a Andy Fairgrieve. He's the Artist in Residence Coordinator with uh, William Grant and Sons. Andy, how are you? I'm very good, Derek. It's lovely to um, be in touch with you again. Yeah, well, great to see you. This is sort of our once a year reunion where we got to talk about exactly. this. Yeah, this wonderful yeah, opportunity. Yeah. Tell everybody, where, where do we find you right now, Andy? Well, I'm in the, the archive here um, at the Glenferrick Distillery up in Dufftown in the northeast of Scotland in Speyside, which is the, the sort of the cradle of Scotch whisky malt making as we as we know it. Um, and uh, yeah, I've been working here for over 20 years now since the Artist in Residence program started back in 2002. So I combined that with my role in the archive here right. as well. So yeah, uh, and I've got to say, Derek, it was great. It was great to see you squeezing your tubes and dipping your brushes there. <laughs> it was, that was impressive. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, I'm, you know, my wife and my daughter are both wonderful artists. So I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out, you know, where my place is when it comes to art, and, and maybe it's abstracts. But uh, tell me a little bit about your role then in in the artist in residence program, Andy. Well, as I said, I've been I've been involved with the programme since it began in 2002, um, and I'm pretty much responsible for every aspect of it. So that's selecting the artists who join us from around the world each summer, um, organising their transport, their visas, um, picking them up from the airport, bringing them here, settling them in, and, and most importantly is acting like a, a sort of a local guide, if you like, to um, being here at Glenfiddich. I mean, we think it's such a, a wonderful, special, unique and inspiring place uh, with a great sense of community and it's a fantastic location. The, the surroundings are inspiring themselves. And all we do is we bring the artists here for uh, a full three months. They can actually stay a little bit longer if, if, if um, it's all going well. Okay. And um, we give them a, an award, which actually this year we've increased the level of award. So it was £10,000, but we've now made it £15,000. And I think that's... Um, in line with inflation and things like yeah. that, and it was, it's just nice to step it up a little bit. So it's a, it really is a great opportunity for artists to come um, mix with other artists from different parts of the world um, and be inspired and create new bits of work, which we then exhibit in our on-site gallery and uh, the thousands of visitors that come to the Glenferrick Distillery each year, it's, it's something for them to enjoy as well. Um, and I think that was one of the great things about your previous guest, Karen. I mean, she was just, give it a go, you know. Yeah. Again. Give it, give it a try. And it often feels that there's a lot to do with art that, that makes people step back a little bit, especially when it comes into more conceptual, um, maybe maybe more abstract art. People can step away, away from it. But, you know, the fact that you're prepared to put on the smock, roll up your sleeves, give it a go yourself, I'm sure you enjoyed it. And, yeah. you know, that's the great thing about art. You enjoy making it. You enjoy looking at it. You, it's not always about just understanding what the artist is trying to say. It's just, does it touch you? Does it affect you? And if it doesn't, doesn't mean it's bad art. It just, you know, it's like music, you know, some people like some music, some people like other music. You know, it's yeah. it's about being open to it. And um, I think the artists that we get we get here, we've been having that artists from Canada since 2005, and they've all been incredibly open to the experiences that we offer here. And I think the main the main takeaway is that because we are an independent family owned company, we want people to feel welcome here. It's about Highland hospitality, so right. we do everything we can to facilitate their. their their stay and make it as rewarding as possible for them and for us because we ask the artists at the end of the, their residency to leave a piece of work that they've created uh, and that can be displayed sometimes I mean we've got works in our um, offices in Canada um, and we've got works 
in pretty much all our offices in the UK and in, uh, in Taiwan and in India. So it's um, something which the end result then goes on to enhance the environment of the workers of um, of Glenfiddich. You mentioned Andy, uh, you know, many artists from from around the world. So h how many artists in total do you bring in, e in each and every year, and 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 from from what areas around the world? Well, this year we'll be having uh, six artists. Okay. Um, Canada, obviously, um, China, Taiwan, South Korea, um, Finland this year. And um, each year we bring a, a young artist who's just graduated from one of the five Scottish art schools. And that's an exhibition called New Contemporaries that happens in the Royal Scottish Academy in Edinburgh each spring. And uh, we award the residency there as a prize um, and it's Scotland's biggest art prize now so so what's the process like then anyway you know an artist is watching the show here in in Ottawa and Canada and then they want to participate in this program how, how do they go about it well, I'll just, I'll just explain the Canadian selection because yes. we do have different methods in different parts of the world. But in Canada, since 2012, we've been running an open call. And if there's any artists that are out there that are remotely interested in tall and finding more about it, I'd advise that they go to the, the Glenfiddich website and they will find a section there about the Artists in Residence program and it gives you all the details on how to apply. Essentially, we open the open call at the start of December and it's going to run up until the 31st of January so there's still a couple of weeks okay. for people to apply and to be honest we find that most of the applications I mean I don't know what it is about artists but it's always lastminute.com and, <laughs> and the, so all the applications flood in in the last 24 hours right. but we usually get about 100, 120, 150 artists applying from all across Canada each year. Once we've got the applications in, uh, we work with um, a former resident, in fact, Dave Diamond, who was based in Toronto, but he's now moved out uh, closer to Sackville. Andy, uh, away, I'm, away I, east. I, I, You're I breaking to, for your Yeah, your I hate to cut you off here, but uh, again, I'll reiterate it at the, at the end of the show as well and then remind everybody where to go to participate. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, we'll be right back after this.